Hey, 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 hey. My name's Chris Dangerfield and welcome back to my channel. Oh look, I've got this in shot. Look how nice it is. It's my shock absorbing microphone stand. Oh yeah, yeah, going up in the world. Right, a couple of things before we start. Charlie Wired scored 150 points in the new Dangerfield competition for successfully guessing that dun 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 was Birds of Fire by the Mahavishnu Orchestra. Got another one for you. This is just going to be the baseline. 150 points to whoever can guess what tune this is. <laughs> Something like that anyway. Right, before we start... Oh, what's that down there? What do I see? Is that as the writing got bigger? You can donate just a dollar and have access to the special Patreon only content that I'm still yet to make. <laughs> right, and more housekeeping. I always tell you to subscribe. Also, Thunderfoot, a big channel he's got, he done this experiment where he got people to press the thumbs up and and they sh got shown in the listings more so i want to do a similar experiment so if you can press the thumbs up now right i want to see how many of you do it okay so, and one more bit of housekeeping Ooh. right see that see that bell there see i've subscribed to this channel but if i press the bell I will now get notifications. See? I can click that and I'll blah blah and then save all that. Okay? Brilliant. I'm not going to do it right now on that channel because it will go through the wrong email. So if you ring my bell, ring my bell, my bell. Yeah, that would be good. And then you'll know when my videos are made. And I'm making so many. You wouldn't want to miss out on them. Okay, this is going really well. Let's have a look at this. It's a spastic. It's someone who's spasticated. He's spasticated. He spits and shit. Here we go. Check it. What are you talking about, you spastic? What's that, you spastic? That's right, I'm calling him spastic, and I'm... And you might think that's a bit nasty. I would do that to his spastic face. I wouldn't get too close, because I wouldn't want him to spit at me. Because being a spastic, he probably spits. This is a comedian called Tim Renko. I know him, and I have done that to his face. I take the piss out of him all the time. And I take the piss out of his spasticity. Spasticity. Spasticity! Spasticity! Why do I do that? Because I take the piss out of all my friends. I take the piss out of my enemies. I don't have many. Don't have many friends. But I take the piss out of people. Human beings do it. Why would I not take the piss out of Tim Renko's? Check him out. I'll leave a link for the comedy. It's fucking brilliant. At the beginning of this gig, he goes, he goes, let's get one thing clear. I mean, I make people uncomfortable. He says, I know that because I do it deliberately. <laughs> and he's got this other wicked bit of material where he says, he, he, he joined the, uh, the, white, the white power lot. He's a Canadian, I think. He joined the white power lot. It might be American. Ah, it's all the same in the UK. And he said, he'd done it deliberately to fuck him up. He just turned up when can I come along? I've got a safety pin. <laughs> he's good stuff. He's a good comic. But I take the piss out of his spasticity. Because I've got another mate who's got no hair and a massive head. I take the piss out of his massive head. I've got another mate. Oh, you are stoned. Oh, you are you right, mate? And I take the piss out of that. You take the piss out of these things. It's a, it's a release valve. It, it gets out into the open. It's truth. It's honest. It's, it's how you engage with your friends. You don't, you don't, you're not polite with your friends. You don't, you don't use tact with friends. It's awful. 
You know, all, all my friends, they take the piss out of me. They're like, oh, you massive penis. You've got a massive cock. Oh, elephant balls. You know, they'll they'll take the piss out of the things I've got that they laugh at. Oh, <laughs> see what I've done there. See what I've done there. Right, as you can see, I'm a little bit, a little bit on edge because I'm fucking angry. I'm angry, and this is why I'm, I'm... Tim hasn't made me angry. Tim's made me laugh. Hello, Timmy boy. But I'm angry because of all this nonsense with fucking this business. Look at the still picture they've got. They, they you know, they look at it. They, they must have gone through it frame by frame to try and get the hand matching that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Trump didn't. I'm not a Trump supporter. Why would I be? I don't even get to vote for him. But I, the, the, the hypocrisy is incredible. This geezer, Serge Kovalaski or whatever it is, he's got one of these funny little hands. And then <laughs> look at the photo of Trump. That photo at the same angle. It's ridiculous. Let's actually have a look at how awful Trump was to this man. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. Clearly, clearly taking the piss out of what he said. He's not even taking the piss out of his hands. I think he should. I think he can. I think he's allowed to. But he's not. He's talking about the fact that he was going, oh, I don't remember. Which isn't the sort of thing journalists need to be saying when they're meant to be remembering. Why are, Why is everyone getting so angry about this? Oh, how dare he take the piss out of that spastic. Everyone takes the piss out of Donald Trump. Especially the people who are having a go at him for taking the piss out of this bloke. Oh, it's all very, it's all right to take the piss out of Donald Trump. His stupid haircut, his ridiculous claret-coloured skin, his way he kind of goes like that. I will. You know... But suddenly, because this bloke's got a little claw, oh no, no, you know, they want him to have special provisions. What, is he not equal? Is he not up to the rest of us? Is he completely useless? Can he not handle it? Must we pander to him? Is it the bigotry of low expectations? Fuck you people, you're nuts. I hope you have a lovely evening.